what, what I would say is I'm very much a capitalist. Um, I just have the view that free markets imply that the playing field is fair and there aren't lots of conflicts of interest. And a big thesis of my book and what I was trying to get across in the op-ed is the fact that capitalism at least in the financial industry as it's going on now, I no longer think is on an even playing field. I think advantages are stacked in favor of banks and against uh, their investors and clients in many respects. And I think there's maximum incentive for the system not to change. And I'll get into this a little bit more uh, later on. But um, let me tell you the three things uh, I'm gonna discuss today. Uh, the first is, um, has anything really changed in the industry? Um, certainly, when I wrote the op-ed, a lot of people said, well, um, things have always been this way, or Wall Street has always operated in a certain sense. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you how, um, at least since I was sitting where you were 15 years ago, in my opinion, things have changed. Um, the second thing I'm gonna tell you is, with all these changes, how do banks exploit conflicts of interest to make money in a way that I view as uh, unfair uh, at best and potentially very systemically dangerous to society at worst. Uh, and the third point uh, will be a little bit about what needs to change in order to fix this and why hasn't uh, enough changed. And this is what I think is the most dangerous part of the way business is done on Wall Street today. Um, it's the dealer. Now, when you're playing blackjack, I think everyone knows the rules. You know, you can't, if you get more than 21, uh, you bust. Uh, you know, there are certain statistical probabilities you should and shouldn't be betting on. Um, when you go into a casino, does anyone in the audience expect the dealer to give them bad information? For example, uh, a big boy attitude where the dealer is actually telling you when you're on 19 that you should be taking another card. I think no one, no one would expect, you know, when, at least when I have been to casinos, the dealer is actually kind of on your side and somewhat friendly and, and will tell you, you know, because you often do see people uh, who have never gambled before who will take another card at 19 and ruin everyone else's hands. Um, but the dealer would, would likely tell you this is a bad idea, you shouldn't be doing it. Um, so I think you have this what I would call an implicit sense of trust where you don't expect the dealer to misguide you. What sometimes happens on Wall Street is a client or an investor will get told to do something that if they understood the rules of the road very well, they would know is not in their interest to do, yet a Wall Street firm will tell them you should do this because that firm might make 10 or 15 or 20 million dollars off it. Um, and they're not technically doing anything illegal because that person walked into the casino, they are responsible for their own actions. And um, I think this is where a big misunderstanding comes in. And you know, I'm sure many of you remember in 2010, there, there was a big um, SEC lawsuit against Goldman Sachs and there was a big hearing in front of Carl Levin uh, where a lot of swear words were used on TV. Um, the one particular word, beginning with an S-H-I-T-T-Y, uh, was used, I think, 20 times uh, because of how bankers spoke about these deals. Um, you know, the, the big argument for why it was okay to sell someone something without full disclosure or without fully telling them your intentions was this idea that they're a big boy. And everyone's a big boy. If they've, if they've come to play, they deserve what's coming to them. Even if there is a sense of deception or um, a sense of misleading them. Now, I, I think a lot about the word uh, fiduciary duty. And you know, th this is a word that I think gets thrown around a lot. But the essential meaning of it is when someone is coming to you for advice, if you are bound by a fiduciary obligation, you owe that client or that person the, uh, the duty of telling them what is in their interest and what is not in their interest. And I think over the time I was on Wall Street, uh, there has, it has morphed into the sense that a fiduciary duty is not owed to anyone. The big problem with that is, I would argue, many, many clients with hundreds of billions of dollars of assets don't understand that.